Good evening, tube viewers. It's Ironside here. I'm down in the crypt, which is what I call the basement. Not because there are dead bodies of hookers down here. I promise you that that is not happening all the time. But I'm here to bring you a review. Unboxing, review, disappointment. Yeah, I'm here to bring you my disappointment with the Canon G7X Mark II. A lot of people have posted rave reviews. They love this thing. They probably want to have little baby cameras with it. But um, I just picked it up today. I actually went to a furniture store and was able to scrounge enough change out of all of their couch cushions to put together enough to be able to buy one of these things. They go for $7.99 Canadian on sale right now. Regular price $8.99. And I'm here to tell you why, if you like to make videos for YouTube, this is not worth it. Stick around. Here we are, we're filming with the Canon G7X Mark II mounted on a small tripod and I'm gonna do the unboxing here of whatever is remaining in the box. Obviously the battery is inside the camera, which is a better place than where I had it earlier today. I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, the Canon PowerShot G7X comes in a shiny black box. Ha! Ah, yeah, it's pretty obvious, you knew that. Open up this baby, see what we got. Okay, so wrapped in foam, now look at what a good job Canon has done making it really thin. This is a pretty thin camera, I'll tell you. No, that's just my cell phone. Anyway, so we have your wrist strap. We have, this is uh, for making ice cubes later. If you wanna make ice, like a really big ice cube for a drink. Comes with that tray, which is cool. A uh, battery charger, which just makes a lot of noise. If anyone's sleeping in your house, this is bound to wake them up. Luckily, it's only like three in the morning, so it's fine. Wall type uh, plug-in charger, which is cool, I guess, speed-wise, but also kind of uncool. I was hoping that I would have a cord in the box that I could plug into the camera while I was um, filming. I could keep it charging. But apparently, I found out that you can't actually do that. So that's a big strike against it so far, right out of the gate. I don't like that. Um, in here we just have, uh, what's this for? Kindling, I guess. If you want to start a campfire, this stuff is probably sufficiently flammable. Um, don't breathe in the fumes from the plastic, because that's frowned upon. Nothing else. Nothing else. No memory card. No nothing. They didn't leave like a bagel in there for breakfast. That's it. You get the camera. You get the cheapo wrist strap. Good. I mean, it bettered nothing, but still. And the battery, the charger, and that's it. Even confirmed on the box, I'm not crazy. It says you get the G7 wrist strap battery charger. Battery pack, that's all. I don't know, I just figured if you're gonna be paying after I was done with tax, granted I splurged on some accessories, um, I just kinda thought there'd be more in the box. I've had other devices that kinda came with additional cables and maybe a starter memory card that you look at and go, oh, that's cute, but what the hell am I gonna fit on a 32 megabyte card and then you throw it in the garbage or use it to level a table. But uh, no, that's it, that's all you come with. So, other than that, by now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but somewhere around the bottom part of the screen, anyway, there's a pixel that is um, hot, I guess they'd call it. I didn't think it was that attractive when I looked at it, but uh, some people think it's hot. Anyone, you know, everybody else has different taste. But uh, anyway, the pixel is the problem, not with the screen, but it's a problem with the actual sensor. So there's nothing I can do to get rid of that. And um, that sucks. So the one thing that I was worried about was stabilization. And I can say that it doesn't do a terrible job stabilizing as you're walking around. I'll just walk around the basement here and show you some of the ghouls and goblins that live here. I was gonna say other than my wife, but she's gonna punch me right in the face if she sees this video, which I make her watch all my videos, so you know that would happen. Anyway, um, stabilization actually works pretty well. I, oh, my god, whatever was here must have been stolen. Anyway, the thing that I don't like is it does kind of take a while to focus on things.
one thing that I just noticed now is um, the ring on the front of the camera that you can set to manually adjust things like exposure, focus, things like that, zoom. When you're in video mode, all that it allows you to do is you can use it as a, I guess, manual. Very super slow zoom. That's all well and good, but I would have liked it if there was a manual focus control or if I could custom assign something to that ring while I'm filming video, but I guess I'm stuck with just if I want to change my focus from an object to a different object, I have to tap, which is imprecise. And sometimes it's hit and miss. I find that you go to focus on something. This seems to work okay. I'm tapping. I'm tapping on my balls, one to the other. But, uh, you know, so, see, like, I tapped on the far ball, the 11, and... Okay, now, thanks for joining us. It must have been in the bathroom. But it's just delay, slow, slow delay. There's some walking around shots. It does really do an admirable job with the stabilization. That's kind of neat. Now, if you couldn't see it before, you will for sure see it now. Oh, look at that. Is that a star in the sky? Nope. That is a crappy image sensor on a thus far underwhelming camera. It's so crappy that the moon has decided to hide behind clouds. It's kind of a weird looking night. But anyway, that's unacceptable. And it doesn't just have to be a nighttime scene. I found in my living room earlier I was filming and you could see that pixel showing up. Look at that. It's insane. So I'm going to set this thing to track my dog's face. Listen to that. If you've got good headphones or loud speakers, you can hear the ticking of the autofocus struggling to keep up. That is super annoying. So one thing I did want to mention, I haven't been using this all that long. I had it on a full charge not too long ago. And just from the little bit of messing around and filming down here, you can see that the battery is already starting to go. Well, you can't really see because it looks like there's Vaseline over your eyes. There it is. Yeah, look at that. Is it what, a half? Less than half? This thing isn't going to last. And the worst thing is, even if you do have a micro USB cable to plug this thing in, um, good luck. While you're actually filming, it does not charge. So that's very important to know before you buy one of these. You're going to have to either buy a crap load of extra batteries, which is fine. It's a solution. It's better than nothing. But, um, yeah, sucky. I've had other cameras that you've been able to do that, no problem. Oh, and also the NFC only works with Wi-Fi. So if you want to hook up your cell phone, this was actually kind of a deal breaker for me. If you want to hook up your cell phone and use it as a controller remotely, set it up on a tripod or something, and uh, film yourself from a distance doing, you know, whatever. It's your business. Um, your camera can only tell it to take pictures, which that might be all fine and dandy, but just having a feature where I could tell it to start recording a video kind of would have been nice. So in a nutshell guys, I am disappointed in this camera to say the least. It is so popular and there are so many people using it. I'm sure that there's going to be tons of people disagreeing. I'm not saying that it's a bad camera at all, but for my applications, it is insufficient. I'm mainly looking, like I said, for video. Sure, still pictures this thing might, you know, cook you dinner and make you breakfast, but uh, that's not really what I was looking to get. I didn't honestly think that the picture that it took was really all that great. I took a few pictures and put it on my computer. There were some that I thought I had had a clear shot based on the viewfinder. Um, but when I lo looked at them on the computer, they were blurry and they just weren't all that great looking at the end of the day. So, yeah, the deal breaker for me is that dead pixel. I would have even given it more of a shot if it wasn't for the fact that that pixel had crapped out right out of the box. So this is going to be going back to the store tomorrow. And I'm going to be taking a look at some other way of recording film that does not involve my cell phone. That's about it. Oh, the uh, the other big objection that I had was the lack of external microphone options. Like I can't plug in a microphone or a lapel mic. You just have to use the onboard sound, which is blasphemous for anybody who is a fan of quality. Well, there you have it, guys. I just wanted to end by me walking backwards around my basement, hoping that I trip over things. Um, that is my kind of informal review of the Canon G7X 123XYZ. 70B4, whatever it's called, Mark II, Mark II. 
Anyway, lots of cool stuff coming to the channel. Please like the video, subscribe to the video, and taste the video if you don't have an aversion to licking your monitor. <laughs>